All right, everyone. <clears throat> it's been a while. I haven't made a video for quite a while here, but right now I have decided to, in our yard, season the Fireview wood stove. So I'm I'm basically burning some wood. Got a nice hot fire going in there. I have the door closed. You can kind of barely see it through there. It's probably it's getting kind of burned out. But man, that paint really, I put some new paint on it a couple years ago and when I restored it and it really burned off for about, I'd say about a half hour. It looks like it's calming down. I don't smell any, I really don't smell anything anymore other than just wood smoke, wood, wood smoke, so that's going to be good. I really I figure I'll just do it out here then I don't have to burn it off in the cabin. And smell it. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have much more, ch much more stove pipe on there, so that's gonna stink. But even that burned off pretty quick. So there'll be a little bit of seasoning when we put it in there, but I figure I'll get the majority of it done out here and get that taken care of. So we're gonna be heading up to the cabin, and Lord willing, we will be putting in the chimney, stove pipe wood stove and hopefully the flooring probably in the reverse reverse order there but um, the latest development is I picked up myself I'm gonna try to do this out try to do this out the uh, license plate the newest development is I picked up a a trailer so I gotta so I can get a shot of it here nice six by fourteen utility trailer and it was kind of an investment but the idea is that I can get the get the ATV up there I can get all the gear in one shot and not have to worry about it and I can eventually I'm gonna set up a little workbench in there so I can work in there but hopefully it tows really well we'll find out it should be all right it seemed like it towed pretty good getting it over here but um, yeah it's nice it's got a little Got an RV door on the side here. So you can get in from the inside and outside. I'll pop the back open and show you what I got going here. Let's see. It's getting kind of dark. Sorry for the late video, but I just wanted to do a quick update. It's been quite a while, probably too long, but I got the quad. We got a futon that some friends gave us. Thanks, Amy and Ryan. That was great. We're gonna put that to good use. The cushion, I got the cushion in the, in the garage in there, but um, some chimney stuff. I've got a bunch of chimney stuff here. I got a sprayer. I need to spray some weeds up there. Um, things I never didn't get to during the summer. The quads under that blanket, so it's all tied down. But yeah, it's got some nice space. So eventually, I'm gonna put a uh, a you know some shelves in here, or, or like maybe a workbench that I can flip down and uh, stay out of the weather but well, that's gonna be a nice uh, way to do it just because there's always when you're working up there you know we have the we have the little cabin but you know I don't really want to be cutting you know cutting lumber and stuff inside the cabin if I don't have to I just do it in here keep the cabin clean so that'll be a I'll probably do this during the winter I'll probably get this thing all situated I got a little vent up there that's nice but yeah this will probably be a project for the winter make this more usable and more efficient for what we're trying to do and uh, yeah these things always give you like ideas of projects you could do you know um, you know maybe do some sort of business in there or I don't know camp camp in it make it into a camper I don't know I always get all these crazy ideas when I see these these trailers but uh, for the time being, it'll just be to get stuff to and from, but there's plenty of room in there. I don't really want to load this up if I don't have to, <clears throat> but it'll be nice for hauling around lumber and stuff, too. So that's about it. Stay stay tuned. In a couple of weeks, we'll be up there, hopefully. Again, hopefully um, putting the chimney in and doing some, some stuff and buttoning it up for winter, buttoning it up for winter. So um, that's probably all we're going to end up doing on it for this year, Seal, getting it all sealed. Um, I don't think we'll do any insulation or anything. I just want to get the I just want to get the uh, 
wood stove in there and the chimney in there properly. I mean, I, I'm going to kind of do it the right way. I got some ideas. That's going to be a silicone seal that I'm going to use instead of the normal flashing. It's kind of expensive, but it should be a good seal up there. I don't want bugs getting in. Is it code? I don't know. <laughs> it won't burn. It's silicone. So, you know, got some ideas. It'll be an interesting an interesting set of videos but uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long and we can get it going and get some heat in there before winter because I want to go up there in the winter time and, and uh, have heat be able to enjoy the afternoon a little bit instead of be cold um, so yep yeah, well that's about all I got stay tuned I think I'm cleaning slowly clearing out the garage man it's still kind of a mess in here but I'm slow <laughs> That's gonna go to, I guess, part of the chimney box that I bought. I'll show you how that goes together, but I'm pre-cutting it to the dimensions. I gotta do a little bit of fabrication on that because it's not quite tall enough for the pitch of the roof we have to get it to the code that they want it. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fabrication, but ultimately it's a technicality. I mean, there's plenty of, plenty of stuff to nail to and space just needs a couple more inches on top. So I'll finish that up this weekend and then get a few more things loaded up and brought up there maybe I'll bring up these I kind of want to hang that off the front of the cabin or maybe inside I don't know friends gave those to us I've never even hunted that big game all in good time though and maybe these saws will go up there and that saw something to hang on the wall add to the, add to the look but slowly getting cleared out in here. I never did get to my uh, project. I decided to, to not do that this year uh, or this time around and set up the uh, kitchenette. I decided against it. I just didn't have time. Um, we have a new baby and I've been busy. So that might wait till next year. That might, that might be the biggest winter project. I'm going to get that painted. But we did actually find a sink. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that'll be a that'll be a future video too. I'll I'll show you what those are. That's an interesting. That'll be an interesting video, I think. You might like that. But found a sink for ten bucks. Wow, brand new stainless steel, and it was at our neighbor's house, garage sale, no less. So we walked up, saw it, bought it. That'll go right into our little kitchenette deal, and and it should be just. I think that's gonna work great. I mean. It'll be pretty basic, probably just this bucket of water. I don't know where I put that. Probably just be this jug of water for at the beginning. Bring up water and have a little tank at the bottom or drain it out the back of the cabin. But uh, you know, I got our. I did get some stuff here. I got the regulator. I tested all these appliances, so I did check them. They work fine. the The fridge and freezer work pretty good. I mean, eh, it's old. I mean, this thing's probably from the '60s or '70s. I mean. They don't get super cold. The freezer does freeze, but the fridge is a little. I don't know. I may. I'm there. I have some ideas on how I think I can make that more efficient. I may need to make a little solar fan to blow over those fins back there and really get some better cooling on a real hot day. But I think other than that, it does. It, it's working as it should. I'm. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's never worked any better. This thing works fine. All four burners work. The oven works. So I did. I did test it out. I got a regulator. Uh, with a dual, I think they call this a two-stage regulator, so it's a lot more stable. You can handle it. Um, I've I got a flare tool, which I still have to figure out how to use and do that. So that'll be a whole different series of stuff, learning learning curves on that. So I'll, you know, I'm gonna try to build this all as a kit, so I can just bring it up and set it in there and plug it in. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to do some wiring and I got to do some sheetrock or you know paneling in there insulation first and then I'll get to this so that'll probably be next year unfortunately I would have liked to get that in but I'll just bring a camp stove up for now anyways that's about all um, <laughs> I don't know if you've kept updated but my truck blew out a spark plug and so I'm I replaced all you know I'm kind of a, I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive when it comes to cars vehicles because I mean we're going a long ways there's no guarantees on any of this stuff, you know, if it's going to last, how long it's going to last. I'm using old stuff, old trucks, old cars, you know, and we're going, 
you know, 400, 500 miles, you know, each trip. So I replaced all 10 cylinders. Actually, one of them was already blown out before I got the truck, apparently. And so I, I replaced all the, the uh, spark plug seats. And I, I have one left over there. And I think I'm just going to sell the kit on eBay. I mean, it's perfectly fine. I don't need it anymore. I've done all the ones I can do. <clears throat> so unless I get another Triton engine, I won't really need this kit. So it's a, it it yeah it worked pretty good. I mean, it it was a little nerve wracking. I mean, it's there's no nice way of reaming out, you know, the head on your truck, but it did work. It does it works. I mean, it, it doesn't run any worse or any better than it did before. So I guess that's good. I mean, it's getting old. That truck won't last forever has almost 170,000 miles on it but still running so I'm gonna drive it <clears throat> but uh, so it's ready it should be ready for the trip as much as I <laughs> as much as I can do to it so yeah well I think that's about it anyways it's getting dark so I'll see you in the next video